All right, picked up a treasure the other day. Now we get to haul it home. Uh, 1984 Chevrolet, one ton dually. And has the great old 6.2 diesel in it, which is kind of what my truck used to be before we Cummins the old thing. Three pack. Look forward to getting it on the trailer and getting it to the house. Find out what she's got in it. 50 50 chance could have the Spicer rear end or could have the Dana 14. If it's Dana 14, this is a 1984, which means it should have the heavy roller bearing and the pinion. My 85 up there has got the needle bearing. They don't make the needle bearing anymore. So kicks and giggles we'll drop a battery in it see if it'll fire off well it wouldn't fire off so we're going to winch it on now comes the fun part <laughs> got an 8274 warren up there we're double lined and uh we'll see if this old pig will crawl up on there That's a Dana. Doggone it, I was hoping it was a 14 bolt. I can get rid of that needle bearing in mine. But it'll still fetch a few hundred bucks. It's gonna need rocker panels, but this is gonna be the cab. Hopefully it's a donor for my truck, as mine is the extra holy edition. Set it on blocks, put some rocker panels in it. Give me a year or two. Get her going. Rest of it, I got a few friends that might need a few parts. So, good deal. Let's get her off headed down the highway. Good old rough roads out of Montana and into Wyoming. Line. What do you know there's a line there? Nothing but wide open space as far as the eye can see. Thirty mile of a hue. Got it home the other day. A little too dark to uh, take you on a grand tour. But uh, this is the old beast. That reminds me of an old C.W. McCall song. Had to go way on up in country in Montana to pick it up. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you can see it's about four inches of mouse scrap in here. So, somebody's done some pretty good work on the interior, put in a custom headliner and all. Too bad it's in, not in any kind of shape to deal with right now. I'll pull enough parts off of it. Hopefully this cab will be good enough to work over for my truck. We'll go from there. Old 
whole bunch of scrap wood in the bed. End up getting all that pulled out here in a few minutes and get it unloaded and see what else we got. I picked it up the other day. It was slammed full of these little wooden widgets. I've already cleaned out some of them. But yeah, man, I feel like I need a hantavirus shot just looking at this thing. Yeah, that is uh, seat stuffing and mouse crap. So it's going to be a chore cleaning her out, but probably end up burning most of the seats and the interior and all. Once that smell gets in there, it pretty much doesn't come out. It'll probably go pressure wash it and eventually sandblast it. So don't look forward to this one anytime soon. It's uh, going to be one of those long term sit on the back burner projects. I used to work for several different uh, salvage yards and scrap yards over the years and I've kind of come to a conclusion every time I run into an old junk vehicle. I kind of wonder the backstory sometimes and I've kind of come to a little uh, group synopsis on some of this stuff. One, rubber products don't last the way they used to. Weather strippings are always rotted out and everything else. Two, usually the person had the vehicle uh, more than likely had too many irons in the fire. Maybe they weren't that bright. Uh, maintenance is usually a contributing factor. And uh, in disrepair, and in alcohol always seems to be a contributing factor. So, a little junkyard humor for you there. <clears throat> Overall, the old truck's actually not in too bad a shape, except it's been used for a mouse den for a while. And uh, there's a lot of raccoon crap and things like that up there so it's not something I would just slide right in and try to drive kind of like C.W. McCall explained he says you know chase the field mice out of the glove box and sit on a petrified apple core so but yeah let's keep on cleaning it out here hey bucket full of torque screws I should get a little bit of money back out of this rig Besides the hantavirus. Who? Oh, pay dirt. <laughs> Twenty-two long rifles. Those are in short supply these days. I got to show you this. The extent of that mouse nest. I picked up the back seat because it was already unbolted. It's amazing. I don't think I've ever seen one quite this big. That is horrendous. That is all seat foam and mouse crap. Yeah. Probably ought to be wearing a mask when I'm doing this, but I'm out here in the fresh air, so I'll take my chances for now. <laughs>